I've just installed this brand new toilet into this cloakroom because well, the old toilet was in pretty bad shape really. But it's a budget toilet and whilst the budget toilet will work perfectly adequately, the standard toilet seat that's provided with it is awful. It's cheap, very, very thin, as I'm sure you can see. I'm just made of just cheap, thin plastic. Worse than that, it's not a soft closed one, which means if you drop it, it's gonna slam down. Ordinarily, not the worst thing in the world. Well, you look how poorly this is made. If this slams down with any sort of regularity, then it's gonna break and it's gonna snap. So the easiest solution, and a really great way to make a budget toilet just look better and feel better and seem better is to purchase a soft close toilet seat. So I'm actually gonna put that, that's gonna go in the bin. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you very quickly, and very easily how to install one of these toilet seats onto a close coupled toilet. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure that the front of your pan here, this one is rounded. So you're gonna be aware of your dimensions and make sure that you buy a rounded toilet seat for a rounded pan. My own toilet at home is squared, so I have to make sure I get a square toilet seat. They're far more expensive. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below just for a sort of cheap standard uh, soft closed toilet seat from Amazon, which is pretty damn good, uh, very robust and certainly far better than this cheap bit of rubbish that it comes with. Right, I'm gonna open up the box. I'm gonna get installing this seat. I'll show you how easy it is. And really, I think you'll probably, once you've seen this video, you'll possibly wonder why you put off changing your toilet seat uh, for as long as you did. Here's the new seat out of its box. The first thing you'll notice is how much thicker that is. It's, it's just far, more quality than, I'll just show you this again. You look at here, look how thin the seat is there, really thin, really thin plastic. You can actually bend that in your hands. This one here, it's a lot thicker. And the other thing that you'll notice is if you remember the fixing kit from the cheap toilet seat, that's pretty bad stuff, it's, it's awful. You can already see we've got metal parts, far more robustly made. Now I do already have a video on this channel which shows you how to install one of these toilet seats. I'll put the link uh, at the end of this video and also in the description below. But I'll take you through it now. It really is very, very easy. Hopefully you won't even need to go and click on, on that other video. Now the very first thing you're going to do is to take these two bits out of the packet. They almost look like wall plugs. Well, they sort of are, because they're going to expand. You look here, I'm going to put one of them. Just give it a little pressure, that pops that in there. The other one, I'll do exactly the same. They're in there. That's exactly how they should look. Now, what's going to happen is, because you're provided with a couple of screws, the screw is going to screw into here. But we're not going to put it in just yet. What happens is that screws down into that plug and the plug expands and that's what grips it onto the toilet. So this is a very, very useful seat because it just means you can install this from the top without having to get underneath and loosen any bolts. I'm going to take one of these things which is provided with it. Now you'll notice on the bottom there's a bit of rubber. The rubber is there to give it a seal and to stop it slipping and to stop any sort of unwanted fluids going down here. So I'm going to pop that on there. We'll line that up with the hole, and then I'm just gonna pop that screw into there. I'm gonna screw it down a little bit, just hand tighten it. So it's not completely tight, but I can't quite lift it off. We'll do exactly the same with the other one here. Line it up, and then pop that just in there. We can see, again, hand tighten it. So again, these two parts are loose, but we can move them around. And there's a really good reason why we wanna move those around. If you look on the underside of this toilet seat, if we just move it up, you'll just see here, hopefully, 
Hopefully there's enough light that you can see. There are actually, uh, there's a hole there, and there's a hole on the other side. Can you see those there? Just a hole there, and a hole there. The button I just pressed in is actually a quick release. Now what you want to happen is the spindles here are going to pop inside those holes. And that's why I've left these loose, because leaving these loose is going to allow you to line that up with your seat to find the distancing so as they can slip. Hopefully you can see that just in there. I'm gonna have to do that manually because I'm not be able to do it and hold the camera at the same time. Once I've got it into position, I'm gonna tighten up the two screws that you can see just there and there, but I'll just adjust these around until they've lined up perfectly with the two holes. You'll see one of them's there, I've just got to adjust this one slightly. They are now lined up, but you probably see that looks a little bit wonky, doesn't it? So what you want to do is with your hand on the top, I'm going to push down, pushing pressure down, and now click into place. Just heard that. So now they're engaged. The toilet seat is not going to come off of these brackets unless I were to press the quick release buttons here and here. But what I'm going to do now is because those are in there I'm going to close the toilet seat just gently and I'm going to move the toilet seat around until I get it lined up into the perfect position. With the seat now off all I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten these bolts. But what you want to do is make sure that the bracket stays in that same position, which we know is a really good alignment. And you've got to tighten it. Each time you're tightening this, it's expanding below to grip it to the toilet. Do it as almost as tight as you dare, but not till it feels like you're using brute strength and you're going to break it. Because if you over tighten it, you will break it move that net doesn't move very well now that doesn't mean it's not going to move once it's on there but that's in a really good position I'm going to do the same with this one here and what I'll do is that will allow me if I've managed to keep them in the prime position which is basically the distance in between these two pivots here is the same as the distance between the holes on the underside of the toilet seat. That should just slot on there really easily now. I'll just lift up the seat and just to remind you, you're gonna line up those two holes there and there by lifting the toilet seat up and then just trying to align them. You're docking them basically. That's locked in place. Now, because these are tighter, these are not going to move. So if I lift the toilet seat down, see there, that alignment's pretty good. I might adjust it a little bit more, but you'll see the brackets are not lifted up at all. And one thing you'll see here is that the soft close seat is now in operation. It's no longer going to slam down I've got I've got children. They um, it's amazing. They're very used to these soft closed toilet seats now. And um, whenever they go around anybody's house, that doesn't have a soft closed toilet seat. You hear a mighty thud uh, when they when they just let go and they, they drop them closed. But they're they're really good these soft closed toilet seats. Um, but it's not finished yet. There's one more thing to do, and that's to put these decorative caps on. But there's a little film, a little pack, a little bit of packaging. And I'm I'm going to take that take that off and just show you how to put those on. And this part really couldn't be simpler. They're just pre-drilled, brushed steel caps. Uh, because the bottom of this plastic unit is sort of tapered with these nodules on there, it will just self-grip it. You pop it on, that'll grip on there. That's not coming off. There we go there, it's got a pre-drilled hole. And that's ready to go. And remember, you take the seat, line it up with the holes, Lock it into position until you hear the click, and then there you have it. Just soft close 
toilet seat. Now there's one other thing which I did cover in my other video, but it's worth noting. These toilet seats are fantastic for cleaning. Because if you ever just want to clean your toilet, it was always traditionally cleaning the toilet was a difficult thing. The parts around here would be very difficult. You could never quite get to all of it. Now these modern seats, absolutely amazing. Lift that up. You pop the buttons, do the quick release. Both sides, that comes off. Just lift the toilet seat up. Oops. And there you go. You could just clean that really, really easily. I mean, you could go as far as you want. You could actually, if you wanted to go, you could redo the thing every time. But but this this is enough. If, if I, I find if you just if you take these caps off, give them a little steam clean, spray a bit of bleach on them, you can clean all the way in here. Um, you can give the toilet a really good clean. Here we clean it down outside. That's ready to go. Goes back on here. And the really great thing is with a lot of these toilets. A lot of them have these, are, I wouldn't quite say they're universal brackets, but a lot of companies have these. So I do find soft closed toilet seats, as long, once they're a certain quality, they're much of a muchness. They're all, as long as they have these fixings, they're, they're pretty much all as good as each other. And it just, I've, I've had them before where, uh, when I've got a new soft closed toilet seat, I've just, it's just mounted them straight back on the original brackets. But you know what, it's no hardship to take these brackets out. They come out as easily as they went in. And it just, it's such, it's so much better than having to put your hands under here, which traditionally you'd have to do um, to take the older toilet seat, more traditional method off. So there you have it. That is how you install a soft close toilet seat. Uh, you can do it. You don't, it doesn't have to be a new toilet. I just think it's made this budget toilet look an awful lot better. You can use an older toilet. Uh, search around, make sure the shape of the toilet seat is correct. But this shape is, is probably the most common, certainly here in the UK. I'll put a link in the description below for the um, Amazon. There's, there's a very, you don't need, some people spend 100 to 200 pounds on a toilet seat. You really don't need to. I'll put a perfectly reasonable soft closed toilet seat. Excellent, really functional, looks decent enough as well. I'll put it in the link below from Amazon. And you can also get these things from, from Screwfix or Toolstation or, or pretty much anywhere. But um, there you go. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this video informative and uh, slightly useful. If you have done, please uh, stick a like, a thumbs up on the video. Uh, you probably won't want to share it on your social media. Why would you? Nobody wants to share a picture of uh, share a picture of their toilet on social media, but if you'd stick a thumbs up on the video, it would be greatly appreciated.